International car productions have become in a successful formula in the last few years. Data show us that car productions circulate and perform better. They have a higher export ratio, they make more revenues, and they seem to win more international awards as well. But what is a car production? What are the basic considerations and the rules you should know about? All this and more coming up. Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Anya Fura, and in this channel every week I share tips and tools to help indie filmmakers build their film strategies. So if you want to be part of the film industry and this community, consider subscribing. Now let's jump into the video. As indie filmmakers, we are always looking for new opportunities to produce our films. In the last years, car productions have become in the new trend for financial and creative development. But what is a co-production? A co-production is when we have a film project which is produced by more than one producer. What is very important is that each co-producer co-owns the film. This means they share rights and of course revenues. To qualify as a co-producer is not enough to put in money and finance the film or be someone who just acquires the distribution rights through a pre-sales contract. You have to contribute with some requirements. But first, what is an official international co-production? This means we are talking about co-productions where the co-producers come from different countries. Most countries have signed bilateral or multilateral agreements with other countries concerning the regulation of international co-productions and the acquisition of national status. For a co-production to be categorized as national, it has to list the requirements in the agreement financial, creative, artistic, and technical. The film will be considered national in all countries involved and therefore be eligible for public funding in all those countries. Of course, the co-production must be approved first by the authorities representing each signatory to the agreement, normally the Ministry of Culture or the National Film Agency of the countries involved. Now, if you're wondering what defines the non-official co-productions, these are the ones made outside the framework of a treaty. But in both cases, official and non-official, there is a joint ownership of rights. One important thing to consider are the reasons or motivations for co-producing. From my point of view, there are three main reasons. The first one is the creative artistic ambition. Let's say you have a global story. What is global? It means you have an universal story that shows a strong identity with international appeal. If you know that you have a story that can be relevant for the audience of another country, then you need to approach the project from an international perspective, having access to locations and talent, bringing a collaboration between artists from different backgrounds and cultures. The second is the financial motivation. If your project has an international value, probably the budget will be higher than if the movie was only local. Bigger budget, more financing. Then you need to pull extra resources from the different countries that will be involved in the project. Finally, the strategic motivation. Having a co-producer from another country brings you new opportunities. One of the most important is that gives you access to more markets and audiences. Also helps you to build strategic partnerships with local film festivals, distributors, and sales agents. There is much more to learn about co-productions, but this is just an overview. In the upcoming videos, I will go deeply in the regulations for several countries and the variables of exportability. The co-production landscape can sound sometimes a little difficult or tedious, but you just need to assimilate all the information about the treaties and agreements. Always keep in mind what do you have to offer. Is it worth it to settle a co-production agreement for your kind of movie? Are you going to get extra value on the screen? Remember that car productions are not only an opportunity to get finance, but also to be creative, so you can tell a relevant story to the audience of all the countries involved. Have you worked in a car production before? Are you considering to work in one right now? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for checking out this video, and if you thought it was valuable, hit the like button. Keep crushing it, and see you next time. <music>